going back not so long ago, NASA's Cassini spacecraft captured these photographs. The images show what appears to be two strange objects hovering over Saturn's F ring. The scientists and researchers indicate that every so often objects will occasionally crash through the F ring's bright nucleus. Shortly after this collision, there will be a bright light. According to NASA, the images were captured using the new cameras on the Cassini spacecraft. The cameras are incredible because it's believed the object was 610,000 miles in the distance, or 982,000 kilometers. If you look closely, you can see what looks like dust. The researchers have said that it's probably the result of a recent collision. Some theorists, however, think the object could be something else. Some pointed to the fact it could be a UFO. Recently, objects have been seen on the outside of planets, and they say this is just another example. One person had this to say. I think it could be some type of intelligent craft attempting to get close to Saturn. Unidentified flying objects are abundant in space, and it's photographs like this that prove it. However, the experts maintain the bright light is due to a collision. These mysterious objects were first detected back in spring of 2016. This was when the spacecraft was passing close by. The Cassini mission is a joint project of NASA, the European Space Agency and the Italian Space Agency. This isn't the only thing that's recently been discovered in space. The Dwarf Planet series is the largest object in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter. Scientists have put forward the theory that Ceres may have an ocean and even an atmosphere. A probe that was recently sent has given us an insight into the dwarf planet. Recently, NASA has released some high-resolution images that give us a closer look at the bright spots on Ceres. The Dawn spacecraft captured the photographs on the 22nd of June. On the 6th of June, the spacecraft was at its lowest orbit, and since then has managed to send back many images along with data. Dr. Andreas said the following, The data exceeds all our expectations. Due to the Dawn spacecraft, NASA has been able to capture the carbonate deposits on the southwest part. The salt deposits give a huge clue about the current activity, while the data and images help scientists to answer how they got there. So what do you guys make of the photographs captured of Saturn? Do you think that something collided with Saturn's air ring? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Going back a few years, an unknown object was captured circling our planet. It's only thought to be around 60 feet in diameter, but it did confuse people. This object only rotated every minute or so. Amateur astronomer Bill Young first spotted the object on the 3rd of September 2002. Astronomers were surprised by this discovery because the Moon is the only large object in orbit around the Earth, so many questions were being put forward about what this object could be. Due to studies, it was concluded the object must have entered into the Earth orbit recently. However, what was interesting is there were no recent spacecraft launches. One theory that was put forward is that it could have been a space rock. However, this was not the case and astronomers noticed something about the object. The most likely explanation is that the object was part of the Apollo 12 mission, to be specific, the SIVB third stage. Some have asked the question of whether this object is not what they are saying, but rather more alien in nature. However, the researchers have come forward and said that if it is an alien spacecraft, the aliens are not good pilots. One of the reasons being the object is in chaotic orbit. It loops around Earth once every 48 days or so, coming as close to our planet as the Moon and ranging as far away as two lunar distances. Recently, Russian scientists made an incredible find. They discovered that a meteorite has inside of it a mineral that does not occur on Earth. This find was made at the State University. The new material is a nitride, forms cube-shaped crystals and consists of vanadium, nitride and small amounts of iron and chromium. The Russian scientists have come forward and said the crystals can only be found in a small portion of the meteorite. The meteorite was discovered in 2016 and since then many tests have been conducted. The particles are small and this has created some challenges. The team was only able to directly determine the composition and structure of the material. 
the composition of the meteorite shows the material must have been formed under extreme conditions. Many of the minerals found there formed at well over 1,000 degrees Celsius. 2018 has been a busy year for space exploration. Researchers have recently announced they have found evidence of an existing body of liquid water on Mars. They have said that they think this is a lake that sits under the planet's south polar ice camp, and is around 12 miles or 20 kilometers across. In the past, studies have been made and we have found in previous research there were signs of liquid water. This was believed to be flowing on the planet itself. However, this is the first sign of a persistent body of water on the planet in the present day. Whenever something mysterious is discovered in space, people get excited. This is usually because people link it to life outside of our planet. An image released by NASA shows what appears to be a green anomaly on the edge of Jupiter. As you can imagine, many people got excited by this discovery. It soon spread through websites and people began to give their opinions for what it could be. One person had this to say. There are many kinds of photographs out there showing these kinds of anomalies. For some reason, you can always find them on the outside of the planet. It almost looks as if it's hovering. However, this thought to be a more logical explanation. Some have come forward and said it's the aurora of Jupiter, similar to what we have here on Earth. But there are still those that don't believe this and think it could be something otherworldly. So what do you guys make of this discovery? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Going back a few years, humans thought the Earth was not just unique, but also the center of the entire universe. Later on, scientific investigations proved us completely wrong. Our planet is not even in the center of our solar system, and there is a big possibility we are not unique. Whether the Earth is unique or not, no one can say for sure. Currently, we have the technology to search for other exoplanets, and that makes it a lot easier to find other possible Earth-like planets. However, this is easier said than done. There are hundreds of billions of planets in the universe, and trying to find a planet that is Earth-like is no easy task. Currently, we can only search for signs of life that are in the Milky Way galaxy. According to the research that has been published in 2015, scientists claim there may be many large galaxies that might be producing a larger amount of Earth-like planets. This could be the answer to our question whether the Earth is unique or not. It seems that the next step for humans will be colonizing Mars. NASA is already putting a plan together for the Red Planet. Other countries are also interested in exploring Mars. Although this planet is close by in terms of the universe, it's still a big leap forward for humans. It will put us on a path of space exploration, and could mean that one day in the near future we could encounter something otherworldly. There's thought to be around 3,000 human-made satellites in working order around the Earth. However, if the debris of old and damaged satellites are taken into account, the number increases dramatically. Ever since the Soviet Union launched the very first artificial satellite into orbit in 1957, various countries around the world have sought to compete. Satellites today are used for communication, navigation and exploration. Satellites can often be seen passing overhead as the sunlight reflects back towards the Earth. One of them is impossible to miss and this is the International Space Station. However, these satellites are relatively boring in comparison to the mystery surrounding one very dark old satellite. Those who have been looking for signs of extraterrestrial life may be excited with these photographs. Some think these photographs could be proof of the Blacklight satellite. The image captured by the International Space Station is not crystal clear, but sometimes this is the case with these types of photographs. However, theorists believe this clearly shows the Black Knight satellite. This is thought to be an alien craft. The mystery about the strange satellite has not been debunked yet. Many people have put forward the theory that the Black Knight satellite is alien in nature. This object has been seen by many people and some have even said they've seen the satellite on the International Space Station. Looking at the photo, the object does look strange, and it does not seem to look like any object that is man-made. People interested in UFOs think this satellite is spying on the human race. The Black Knight satellite is considered by some to be an object that's approximately 13,000 years old, 
no one really knows where the ages come from. The satellite has been around for quite some time now. Many have seen its images, though some do remain skeptical about its purpose and origin. The discovery of the mysterious satellite is perhaps one of the most famous space objects to orbit our planet. This artificial satellite has caused major media interest since the late 1950s, and has become one of the most talked about objects in space. The first apparent part of this story begins with signals heard by Nikola Tesla, a brilliant inventor who spent most of his career in the USA. He was an electrical engineer and produced works which explored the idea of radio and wireless transmissions. In 1899, he reportedly intercepted a signal unlike any of the natural sources from the Earth, such as electrical storms which he had already investigated in his experiments. Instead, he announced that regular signals must have been coming from an intelligent outside source, potentially inhabitants of Mars. Former US Air Force Sergeant Carl Wolf is perhaps best known for saying that he saw photographs of an alien base on the moon. Carl worked at Tactical Air Command at Langley Air Force Base in Virginia during the 1960s, and his thoughts have been involved in projects that were classified. He was recently involved in a bike crash from which he didn't survive. Carl had made the extraordinary claims back in 2001. He stated that the photographs he saw proved that extraterrestrial structures were on the far side of the moon. Going back, he worked as a photographic surveillance technician. This meant he worked with the machines that processed video footage. He claims, however, that on this particular occasion, he was asked to review some images. When he looked, he could see they were taken during a recent lunar mission. While there, another employee asked him to take a look at another photograph. These were the ones that showed a mysterious base on the moon. Carl said the following about the incident. He pulled out one of these mosaics and showed this base which had geometric shapes. There were towers and there were sphere-shaped buildings. There were very tall towers and things that looked somewhat like radar dishes, but they were very large structures. After seeing these photographs, he thought the discovery was going to make it to the news. However, he soon realized the news never broke. He then thought that the discovery must have been covered up. Although these claims do sound incredible, there's no proof of these structures on the moon. Bold claims require strong evidence. The only way this could be proved is if someone was able to get hold of these photographs. However, there have been images presented that allegedly show mysterious objects on the moon. Scientists in NASA though state that what people are seeing is pareidolia. This is when the mind tricks us into seeing things that are not actually there. For example, you may see what appears to be a face on the moon, when in reality it's just an illusion. What many people are excited about though is the fact that China has made plans to launch a satellite to land on the dark side of the moon. The satellite will be able to communicate with the Earth in the far side of the moon. This is important regarding phase 2 of the mission, which is landing on the moon at a destination further away from the Earth. This is significant because we never get to view this side of the moon. This is due to the moon being tidally locked to the Earth. So what do you guys make about these claims? Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.